Bavarian, so welcome back to our learning session. This is Nurse Vince, and for this week, we are going to talk about terms or common terms related to epi epidemiology. So, um, define man natin kung ano epidemiology. Pag sinabi mong epidemiology, yun yung pag-aaral, uh, study and analysis of the distribution, the pattern, the termination of health and disease conditions. So, ito yung mga pinag-aaralan natin kung um, paano nangyayari yung mga sakit, uh, pa paano nakakahawa yung mga sakit, anong epekto nito sa kalusugan, anong epekto nito sa tao. Yun. Kung yun lang, yun ang, ang, ang kumbaga basic um, meaning kung ano ibig sabihin ng epidemiology. So, marami tayong terms na pag-usapan related sa epidemiology at mayroon tayong oh, mga terms na napaka-common. So, for this week, we're going to, to learn about um, epidemic. That's our first word. Second is pandemic, which is very common uh, nowadays. The third is sporadic. And then the fourth is endemic. So, pag-uusapan natin araw-araw hanggang sa Friday kung ano ang pagkakaiba ng mga terms na yun. So, let's have the first word, which is epidemic. Hi! Welcome back to our one-minute learning session. And our word for today is epidemic. So, what is epidemic? So, when you say epidemic, that is a widespread occurrence of an infection disease or an infectious disease in a community at a particular time right example a flu epidemic so this is according to world health organization so pag sinabing uh, epidemia or, or or epidemic or epidemia sa tagalog ito yung malawakang or may outbreak or may malawakang pagkalat pagkalat ng isang sakit, isang nakakahawang sakit. So halimbawa yung 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 influenza or yung halimbawa yung flu epidemic. So um isang specific na lugar, uh, isang isang komunidad, isang community uh, sa isang particular time na mabilis yung pag-angat at malawakang pag-angat at pagkalat ng nakakahawang sakit. So yun ang ibig sabihin ng epidemic. So welcome back to our learning session. This is Nurse Vince. And for this week, we are going to talk about terms or common terms related to epi epidemiology. We're going to, to learn about um, epidemic. That's our first word. Second is pandemic, which is very common uh, nowadays. The third is sporadic. And then the fourth is endemic. So what is epidemic? So when you say epidemic, that is a widespread occurrence of an infection disease or an infectious disease in a community at a particular time, right? Example, a flu epidemic. So this is according to World Health Organization. So pag sinabing uh, epidemia or, or, or epidemic, or epidemia sa Tagalog, Ito yung malawakang, or may outbreak, or may malawakang pagkalat. Pagkalat ng isang sakit, isang nakakahawang sakit. Hi! Welcome back to our one minute learning section. And our word for today is pandemic. Okay, so um, for our next word, it's pandemic. Pandemia, pandemic, lagi natin naririnig. So what is pandemic, especially in my COVID outbreak? 
So, pag sinabing pandemic, ito yung um, epidemia. This is um, an epidemic occurring worldwide. So, this is a disease uh, prevalent all over the world. So, pag sinabing ganon, ito yung sakit, nagkocross siya ng international boundaries, nagkocross siya sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. So, yung COVID-19, so sa pag-uusapan natin, ay dineclare ng World Health Organization noong March 11, 2020 as pandemic dahil according sa 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 pag sa pag-aaral mayroong 100 um how many cases 118,000 cases in over 110 countries kaya ganun there disease that is endemic or that is always present in a given population. Variants. So welcome back to our learning session. This is Nurse Vince and for this week we are going to talk about terms or common terms related to epidemiology. We're going to, to learn about um, epidemic, that's our first word. Second is pandemic which is very common uh, nowadays. The third is sporadic and then the fourth is endemic. So what is pandemic, especially in my COVID outbreak? So pag sinabing pandemic, ito yung um, epidemia. This is um, an epidemic occurring worldwide. So this is a disease uh, prevalent all over the world. So pag sinabing ganon, ito yung sakit, nagkocross siya ng international boundaries, nagkocross siya sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. So, yung COVID-19, so sa pag-uusapan natin, ay dineclare ng World Health Organization noong March 11, 2020 as pandemic dahil according sa, 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 pag, sa pag-aaral, mayroong 100, um, how many cases? 118,000 cases in over 110 countries. Kaya ganun. There. Hi! The Warriors, welcome back to our one-minute learning session. And our word for today is endemic. Okay, so what is endemic? Right, so that's endemic. So when you speak about endemic, uh, this word is um, related to a disease that is endemic or that is always present in a given population in a specific area. Right? So, kumbaga, yung sakit na to ay endemic lang or doon lang sa lugar na yon or laging nandoon sa lugar na yon. So, kaya pag pumupunta ka sa isang lugar, parang, oh, mayroong, mayroong ang pinaka-common na example niyan ay yung, yung uh, malaria, um, yung mga, ay, ano pa ba, chicken pox. Oo. Pero, ano siya, hindi siya yung uh, rare siya, hindi siya talaga nag involve sa maraming part ng iba't ibang iba't ibang part ng 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 isang lugar. So, nandun lang siya naka naka situate sa isang specific na lugar. Right? So, uh, halimbawa, yung since na nabanggit ko na yung uh, malaria. Okay, so halimbawa, um di ba pag nagte-travel tayo sa isang area, um since sa pag-usapan natin yung malaria, uh, before ka mag-travel, kung mag apply ka sa abroad, di ba? Usually nagpapa-immunize ka or nire-require ng isang bansa or in, ng isang lugar o anong, kung anong mga bansa na involved um, na magkaroon ka ng immunization na ganun. Halimbawa sa malaria um, common siya sa Africa common siya sa Asia dito sa atin meron uh, Latin America um, ano ba ba? Kahit sa Middle East sa so common ng malaria 
Ah, dito sa Pilipinas, ano bang may mga malaria? Yung, I think may mga parts ng, ng Palawan na mayroong uh, malaria. So, as, as um, protection or prophylaxis, um, binibigyan ka ng, ng immunization or kung isa sa ibang ano naman, sa ibang mga um, halimbawa or pinapainom ka ng gamot na protection, right, prophylactic medication para uh, hindi hindi mo makontak or meron kang panlaban sa sakit na yan. So, yan. Hi, the variants. Our word for today is sporadic. Hi, Bavarians! Welcome back to our learning session. This is Nurse Vince. And for this week, we are going to talk about terms or common terms related to epidemiology. We're going to, to learn about um, epidemic. That's our first word. Second is pandemic, which is very common uh, nowadays. The third is sporadic. And then the fourth is endemic. So, um, for our next word, it's pandemic. Pandemia, pandemic, lagi natin narinig. So, what is pandemic? Especially my COVID outbreak. So, pag sinabing pandemic, ito yung um, epidemia. This is um, an epidemic occurring worldwide. So, this is a disease uh, prevalent all over the world. So, pag sinabing ganon, ito yung sakit, nagkocross siya ng international boundaries, nagkocross siya sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. So, yung COVID-19, sa pag-uusapan natin, ay dineclare ng World Health Organization noong March 11, 2020 as pandemic dahil, according sa, 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 pag, sa pag-aaral, merong 100, um, how many cases? 118,000 cases in over 110 countries. Hi, welcome back to our one minute learning session. Hi, Bavarians. Our word for today is sporadic. Okay, so what is sporadic? So, pag sinabi mo namang sporadic, those are actually diseases that are only seen occasional or occasionally without geographical concentration. So, ko ang endemic ay specific siya sa mga lugar na doon ka lang makita ng ganung mga sakit, ang sporadic naman is wala siyang geographical concentration. Right? So, ano ba mga example? Tulad noong um, rabies, tulad noong tetanus, tulad noong plague. So, um, kung saan siya, pwedeng kahit saan siya mag-occur. So, wala siyang tinatawag na geographical or hindi siya specific sa isang lugar. So, um, yun, yun ang ibig sabihin ng sporadic. Right? Yun. Okay, so, um, happy weekend, guys. I hope you have learned something uh, with regards to our daily session here in, in, in my page on terms related to epidemiology. So, we have learned about uh, just to summarize, we have learned about epidemic, uh, we have learned about pandemic, we have learned about um, endemic, and we have learned about sporadic. So I hope you know now the difference or differences of the four terminologies which you may encounter in the future. So this is just a refresher. Alright? So again, if that is epidemic, that is um, an outbreak. Sa outbreak siya, mabilis ang pagkalat, mabilis ang pagtaas ng mga kaso na isang sakit na nakakahawa at nakaka-apekto siya sa mga tao. So, um, epidemic. Pag sinabi mo namang pandemic, ang pandemic naman, ang, uh, ito ay epidemic pero ang affected niya is sa buong mundo. Right? So, nag, nagkocross siya ng boundaries 
sa iba't ibang international boundaries ng mga, ng mga bansa. So, ito naman, usually, nagiging ito, kasi di, uh, lalo na pag mga bagong, mga bagong sakit, nakakahawang sakit, tulad nung, ano nga, yung H1N1 na example natin, at saka yung COVID-19 pandemic, na marami siyang affected, tapos wala pang immunity ang mga tao, kaya kumakalat siya ng mabiliksan. So, yun ang uh, pandemic, it's, it's global. Tapos, ang, ang endemic naman is, ito yung mga sakit, as we have said, nung mga nakaarang araw, ito ay specific lang sa isang lugar. Tulad ng very common example natin na uh, malaria. So, yun. So, is, sa isang lugar lang, sa so, kung pumunta ka sa lugar na yun, kailangan maging ma-aware ka or maging maingat ka or kailangan may protection ka uh, before ka pumunta sa lugar na yun. Kasi alam mo na mayroong ganun. I think sa, sa Pilipinas may palawan or bacon. Yun, may malaria. It's, it's specific part lang naman. Pero, uh, yun. Uh, and then, yung sporadic naman is, wala siyang concentration kung saan lugar. Pwede mangyari kung saan lugar. Halimbawa, kung saan lugar sa Pilipinas. Pero, occasional lang siya. Uh, hindi siya madalas nangyayari. So, ang example natin doon, yung mga tetanus, rabies, uh, yung plague sa sa Africa, yung bacterial, ano yun eh, apag sinabi mong plague, yun yung bacterial infection na nakikita sa sa hayop. Usually, yung flea na tinatawag. Tapos, uh, na nakakagat nung, nung carrier na flea or infected na flea yung tao kaya nagkakaroon. Right? So, I hope uh, you have learned something with this week. And I have added, um, and I have added terms to your medical vocabulary. Thank you guys. Happy learning. Happy weekend, Bavarians. Hashtag Nurse Dance. Bye.